Finally, I'm gonna do a review on my fold-up trailer. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. This is the very first time that I'll be using this fold-up trailer. I will be towing my WR250R. One thing I really love about this trailer is that it folds up. It uses very little space, guys. Uh, very easy to maneuver. Uh, very easy to connect. And uh, we'll see how it works out. Like so, first things first is to go ahead and drop, the, pull it down. I got just one hand here, guys. Look at that. One hand. Look how easy that is. Look at that. Damn. Okay. This folds. And you just pull this down. This is the ramp that you use to put the load the bike on and there's one underneath here as well okay now to attach the ramp three pieces shows here left right and center attach here And you take these out. Okay, and then this goes across here to secure all three pieces together. Make sure that comes out and that locks into place. Okay. And you put this, put this through here, all set. Perfect. Then we'll just go ahead and roll the bike up. Okay, make sure it has a proper PSI in the tires. Yeah, plenty in there. Good there. Okay, now to put the hitch on. Stick this in here. Put the pin in. Let's go ahead and put the safety pin in. Okay, take this pin off here. It comes right out. Lift that up. Go ahead and put this on the hitch ball. Put that down. Put the pin back in. For these safety cables, you have to use locks on each side. Okay, now we got to attach the cable for the brake lights and turn signals. Okay, that's attached. I just put it on the kickstand there. So now just go ahead and strap it down to these tie points there, there. Okay, now we just take the ramp pieces and put it in the back of the car to save time. I use the cam buckle type tie downs instead of the ratchet tie downs because I love the ease of use of the cam buckle straps. Literally I can just sit on the bike, compress the suspension and pull on the straps and it locks it down right away. There's no need to go to each side and ratchet down. I hate the ratchet ones. And by the way, I'll include a link in the description and comment section of this video to the exact cam buckle straps that I've been using for years. And I've traveled all across the country in my bug out van with my WR250R with no issues believe me they are reliable by the way I used four of them I use uh, two on the hand guards and two on the rear frame normally up front I'll attach the tie downs 
to the forks, which I recommend. I do not recommend attaching them to the handguards like I did, but I felt like being a rebel. Anyways, my handguards are on 100% solid. I have these triple tree clamps that I paid extra for. Believe me, those handguards aren't going anywhere. Okay, we're all set. Now it's time to tow it and let's see how she works out. Done. Very simple and easy to use. It's awesome, man. By the way, you can't put a spare tire here. I decided not to purchase one with the trailer because you can get them at Costco for real cheap. Uh, these are 13 inch wheels. So now for the review. First off, I'm not sponsored, affiliated, or associated with the company that makes this trailer. I'm not even mentioning the company's name. I'm just saying eBay trailer. So no, I didn't get it for free. No, I didn't get a discount. I pay full price off of eBay. And I'll include that eBay link in the description and comment section of this video if you want to get the trailer as well. First off, the reason why I got this trailer over the Kendon stand-up trailer is this one is basically the same thing at a much lower cost and is built just as well. I can attest to it after owning it, but before I bought it, I did research and a lot of people said it is just as good as the Kendon trailer, guys. And they actually uh, assemble these trailers uh, by hand when you order it. And it takes them a few days to do it. They don't have these fully assembled sitting in some warehouse collecting dust which I was highly impressed with. The only negative experience I had with this trailer is having to go pick it up at the pit freight loading dock. They would not deliver it to the house. At least at that time, they wouldn't. And man, they just plopped that trailer on a pallet in front of you. It's strapped up, zip tied, wrapped in loads of plastic, and they don't help you. I was really irritated by that. Um, but once I got it home, looked over it man it is well built i didn't have to adjust anything fix anything the bearings were good wheels good tires good the uh trailer was just i was really impressed with it and now after having used it for the first time i can tell you guys that i i really love it i love the uh the three-piece uh, ramp that is affixed to the trailer and it's easy to take off and put on and uh, the bike rolls right up on the trailer, as you see. Very easy to do by yourself, and it's very easy to roll it uh, off the trailer. Easy to strap it up. Easy to connect it to the hitch. And uh, it rides really smooth uh, and quiet on the highway. It's like you're not even trailering anything. Uh, but when the bike is off the trailer, it makes a lot of noise, man. So I recommend that you get some duct tape and, and tape down the wheel chalk to kind of lessen the noise uh, when trailing with no bike on it. But with the bike on it, guys, butter smooth, quiet. Um, I'll tell you, it's so nice having a trailer that, that folds up and stands up in the garage and uses very little space. And I have access to it any time. Uh, yes, it's probably more cost effective by going with the U-Haul trailer, but I hate the U-Haul trailers. They're noisy. You have to go get it. You got to go take it back. Uh, it's so uh, convenient having your own trailer that uses very little space in your garage. So I recommend it. By the way, I'll include a link to where you can get this trailer in the description and comment section of this video along with all the straps I use. Trailer hitch, everything. As you guys know, I always put links in the description and comment section of my videos. Or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Gear. And those are links to all of my stuff. Gear, trailers, everything. And for those of you guys who want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with my over 1,200 plus videos categorized into those playlists to make it easier for you to navigate. So hopefully you can find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up. It really helps my channel when you hit thumbs up. I appreciate it when you comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my All-in-One Motorcycle channel. And also go check out my other channel, Bugout Moto.
that showcases a van that I customized for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods and that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything bug out moto. As a courtesy I included two video playlists one for new riders and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders and also my popular videos playlist. Hey, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.